Sky, hundreds of local students will have the opportunity to explore construction career opportunities today with some of the industry's top leaders. Yeah, it's the second day of Construction Career Days happening at Aloha Stadium. That's where Casey Lunn is live this morning. Good morning, Casey. Yeah, good morning, Steve. Good morning, Grace. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Today, more than 900 students, high school students, are going to be here at Aloha Stadium uh, for the second day of Hawaii Construction Career Days. All kinds of different opportunities to learn about. That's what this is all about. We, you know, we have uh, to build the workforce here in Hawaii to keep up uh, with the rate of construction. There's a lot going on. I want to introduce Damien Kim from the International uh, Electricians Union here in uh, Honolulu. We want to talk a little bit about, first of all, we'll talk about the opportunities. Sure. You guys kind of have a cool booth set up here. What's going on over here? Well, we have a virtual reality screen that the uh, you know, students can put on our goggle and they'll actually be able to do some electrical work without getting hurt. Yeah, <laughs> so you get That's an idea of, part. of uh, this kind of work. And, and tell me a little bit about uh, the journey, and that's a good word to use, when uh, you talk about getting in into the union and, and uh, um, getting into this good line of work, uh, what's the process look like and what do you want young people to know about? Well, so our program is a five-year electrical, as electrician program, but we also have a three-year telecommunications program itself. Um, the main criteria is you need a high school algebra to be able to uh, take our exam, but everything is online now, so it's 24 hours, seven days a week, you can go on our on website, be able to put in an application. Once we get so many applications, we do a testing. From the testing goes to an interview, and from there is getting into the apprenticeship program itself. I want to ask you, are we talking about this a little bit before we went on here, that the uh, kind of old school, I don't want to say old school, but there's a, you know, there's certainly a push to uh, push young people into a four-year university, and that's great. Yeah. Uh, really something uh, that should be sought after for some people, but do you think that there's been a shift a little bit uh, where people are starting to be a little bit more encouraging and, and trying to put these opportunities to get into a trade uh, and, and get into a field like this? Is that kind of changing a little bit? It, it is. You know, college is not for everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, our trade programs helps them to take a certain path and be able to now take up a trade instead. Uh, you end up doing this craft without any traditional bills, school. Yeah, bills student debt. You're student making debt money while you're, while you're learning. Exactly. And I think that's what's so great about it. And I, you know, I don't want to be too uh, crash here, but you're making pretty good money. Yeah, can't complain. Yeah, uh, starting out, uh, if, just can you give us an idea about the range when you're starting out okay. and, and, and where you can go? Well, an apprentice starts out roughly at about 35% of the journeyman's pay. Yeah. So that's roughly about $20 an hour right now. Uh, at the end of the five years, they'll be making upwards of, uh, to our current contract, it'll be about fifty six, fifty five, which yeah. is about $110,000 a year wage-wise. Last question, what am I doing with my life, Damien Kim? <laughs> we have no age restrictions. Okay, it's good to know. Uh, Damien Kim with us, thank you so much uh, for sharing a little bit about this. Now, again, I want to remind folks, these are kind of uh, pre-arranged classes, or the schools that are coming down here as part of this. But we, we've been in touch with the General Contractors Association of Hawaii. They're a big part of this. They They've got a, a link we have on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com. If young people want to explore some of those jobs, get to, connected with some of the folks in the industry. A great way to do that online again at hawaiinewsnow.com. We'll send things over.